I've had a lot of solid preparation for the role of CEO uh, at Nathan Adelson Hospice. I've been so fortunate to work in mission-driven organizations and I've worked in for-profit organizations and it's given me a real sense of purpose, you know, the heart of what an organization does aligned with the business acumen and there is nothing more valuable, there is nothing more important, there is nothing more uh, compassionate than end of life care. To work with such loving people, with such caring people, um, I think that people that work at the bedside are absolute angels. There's been so many changes in healthcare in Las Vegas and Southern Nevada and certainly across the country. Here in our community, in spite of all the changes that I've experienced and that I've witnessed here in Southern Nevada, I think the one thing that stands out most is how people come together for the good of this community. I have been so fortunate to have um, experiences at the bedside and there is a gentleman that is near and dear to my heart, his name is Cliff, and Cliff was just this amazing man who um, gosh, left uh, just an unbelievable impression on me. You see, Cliff never made dying about himself. He always made it about helping other people up until the very end. Cliff is just a, an amazing angel um, that I know looks over me in everything that I do. These days, it's really interesting. Um, I thought things would be slowing down a little bit, but I've been very fortunate to continue to assist Nathan Adelson Hospice um, behind the scenes and help them with strategy and, and partnerships. And I've also been asked um, throughout the country to help other hospices that are in need, other healthcare systems, of doing keynotes. Um, so in the life of Carol Fisher, it's been interesting lately. I thought, my gosh, I'll, I'll have a little downtime, but it, it hasn't proven to be. It's been a real privilege. I have uh, a lot of people that are really important to me. So in no particular order, my daughter, who is uh, seven months pregnant right now, living in San Francisco, an amazing young woman, uh, Brooke, she is very important to me uh, today, and certainly her husband, and I can't wait to meet that little baby. Um, and of course, um, my family, um, my partner in crime, Vince, um, just an amazing man that pushes me and pulls me to be a better person each and every day. I have some amazing girlfriends and we do a lot of traveling together and we don't talk about work, contrary to what people think, and we just have a fun. And then the people at Nathan Adelson Hospice, those are, are true friends to me. Oh, I think people are very surprised to hear that I dropped out of high school. And here I am I'm having just this amazing career and this amazing life in spite of some obstacles that um, could have been barriers, but I use those as opportunities. This award really speaks to the wonderful employees, the volunteers, the board of trustees, and the patients that we care for. I'm really proud to be a mom professionally. Gosh, it's all about Nathan Adelson Hospice. You know, I wanted to be at the helm of Nathan Adelson Hospice probably 30 years ago. I had this vision. That is a, a full circle, complete moment, um, one that I will be forever grateful for. We're so very proud of you. We're so very proud of this exceptional hospice company that you have built and the exceptional leader that you've handed over to in Karen Rubel. So good job, girlfriend. You have inspired me and all of us Gagas in uh, your exceptional leadership traits. And I'm honored to be able to say a few words for you and congratulations, but I'm mostly honored to be your friend. Love you very much. Congratulations, Carol. It gives me extraordinary pleasure to be here tonight to talk about my wonderful and dear friend, Carol Fisher. I don't know anybody that is more deserving of this award than Carol. I absolutely love her. And one of the reasons that I love her is because I recognize and now I have an opportunity to acknowledge the extraordinary impact that this remarkable woman has had on our community. She has been there for countless thousands of families who are in the process of losing a loved one and they turn to Carol in the Nathan Adelson Hospice 
Thank you, Carol, you dear, dear woman. And I wish you the best of luck and success in everything you do in the future. I love you. Being a mentor and being a role model and, and paying it forward is just extremely important to me. You know, I really think that it's a moral obligation, especially for women. I find it extremely important to make sure that I'm always giving back what I've been so fortunate to have learned along the way. I have um, some amazing mentors in my life and, and many of them are on our board of trustees at Nathan Adelson Hospice. But at the end of the day, when all is said and done, I'll tell you who I really look up to, and it's the patients. First, I need to say thank you to everyone at Las Vegas Heels. This is just an amazing, amazing um, honor and privilege. So to my fellow honorees, my gosh, I wish I could be with you in person, number one, and congratulations to each and every one of you. I am honored and humbled beyond belief to uh, be recognized with each each of you. I mean you um, each in your own right are just amazing human beings. Congratulations. So if I was here with you tonight and I was standing before you dear audience I would number one thank you for even listening to me and I would say make sure that you create a life that is purposeful that is rewarding. Making a difference is important. Love what you do and do what you love, and I wish you each an amazing life filled with unlimited possibilities.